Why am I holding a golf club and a hockey stick? What are the differences? What are the commonalities? We're gonna find out coming up. Okay, everybody, so this video is twofold. It's for those of you who have a, have a, a problem with hooking the ball and blocking the ball, so you get that two-way miss going. But then the second part of this video is also going to be for those of you who are having trouble with contact as far as, well, I hit behind the ball, I'm hitting it thin, so I'm hitting it fat, I'm hitting it thin. So let's cover part number one, all right, for those of you who are struggling with the hook or the block. Now the hook or the block generally comes from the fact that this club is shallowing too much. So for those of you who are shallowing it too much, you may have learned that, okay, well, I gotta, I gotta get this club to lay down, and what happens is that right shoulder dips as a right-handed player, okay? From this view, you can see that it looks like I'm going this way. You may have had a thought before, like uh, I'm keeping my back to the target, or I, I need to swing more out to right field or two o'clock. Those things aren't necessarily bad for that beginner player who's really coming over the top and slicing it, but the better you get, it becomes, uh, it can become an issue of trying to shallow the club that way by kind of dipping this right shoulder here back like that. So, what do golf and hockey have in common? Well, with a hockey stick, you're not gonna see a hockey player ever do this because the puck is on the ice down here. They're going to do what we've deemed before in classic construction is over the top. And then we think, well, that's bad. Well, from this view, you can see that I can still be very much on plane and be over the ball or really covering the golf ball, okay? I don't, you're not gonna see a hockey player go this way. So, most of you aren't gonna have a hockey stick in your bag, so we'll pick up a golf club and we're gonna do what we call the split hand uh, grip or drill. You're gonna take your normal grip, just like this, and you're just gonna slide your hand up it like this, so it's like your holding a hockey stick, all right? And I want you to make that hockey motion. Again, when you do this, you're gonna make a hockey motion, and you can still see that I am on plane there, but this right shoulder is not dipping back this way. So that was, you know, your effort to try to shallow the club, but we also are getting a bad miss this way. I either have to now try to flip my hands at it to square up that club face, which is going to create more of a hook, or I leave that face open and I'm just going to block it out to the right. Okay? So in the second part, we're going to talk more about, you know, why this also is going to cause you to hit fat and thin shots as well. Okay, so the second part of this is really uh, another problem that we see people have when they dip that right shoulder too much is it creates uh, an issue of where you bottom this club out. For most of you, when you dip that right shoulder, you're gonna tend to hit behind the golf ball and hit fat. If you don't happen to hit the ground, by the time you hit the ball, it's already on its way up and you're actually gonna hit a thin shot, okay? So it looks like this. If I dip that right shoulder or I try to keep my back to the target too long or swing out to right field too much, yes, I shallow the club, but now I'm, boom, hitting right down here as opposed to if I'm swing more like a hockey stick, you see how I'm coming around and actually rotating my body. That is going to help the low point of my swing, which is incredibly important. Um, one of the studies that's been done by Bobby Clampett is when he's talking about impact golf is that a lot of these best players in the world actually bottom out their swing with an iron approximately four inches in front of the golf ball. That's gonna be very difficult to do that with that right shoulder dipping here like that. So lots of different ways um, to, to think about this, but 
for those of you probably a little bit more advanced, better players who are trying to draw the golf ball, shallow that club, let's make sure that we're doing it the right way and not by dipping that right shoulder. Okay, so again, if you are struggling with hooks, blocks, fat shots, thin shots, think of golf more as your slap shot in hockey. If you like this video, please remember to click the like button, subscribe below, leave your comments, love to hear those. Until next time, see you then.